Modern dairy farms use advanced technology and efficient processes to produce a variety of dairy products. These farms typically start with well-maintained facilities for cows, ensuring their comfort and health. Cows are fed a balanced diet, and automated milking machines collect their milk. The collected milk is rapidly chilled to preserve freshness and transported to processing plants. At these facilities, the milk undergoes pasteurization to eliminate harmful bacteria while retaining nutritional value. It's then separated into cream and skim milk, which can be used for various products. Further processing yields items like cheese, yogurt, butter, and ice cream. You will see the mouth-watering adventure of dairy farm technology, milk, and cheese-making process. Modern dairy farming has effectively increased productive resources. Though many cattle deliver milk, cows are the most demanding animal on which every farmer has their focus. Nowadays, throughout the world, cow dairy farming is the most appealing sector. We know milk demand will never reduce, but will increase with the passing of time. To increase the milk yield, farmers provide dairy cows with healthy food to ensure their good health and maximum production. For raising dairy cows, they give them hay or especially straw type of feed to maintain the quality and quantity of dairy products. They know greens help cows in producing the maximum milk, so along with cereal grains, they never forget to add greens. Moreover, greens such as timothy and clover do reduce their feeding cost. However, modern ways of dairy farming have already extended production in less time. In modern dairy farming technology, artificial insemination is a very common method in the new dairy farming era. Dairy farmed animals are made pregnant first through the machines inserted into females' tacks. Then they began to produce the milk which is intended to feed their newborns. However, to ensure the production of constant milk, they make the farmed animals repeatedly pregnant through artificial fertilization. In developed countries, this method of reproduction has become severely common. They are selectively bred for perfect milk production. Though cows have been facing aching swallowed udders, infected teats, and claudication, dairy farmers never pay attention to such problems. In modern dairy production, it has become important to achieve timely pregnancies and have calves every 12 to 14 months to meet the demand for the required milk. However, we cannot deny the fact that this technology has enhanced the yield of milk and other dairy products super fast. Taking good care, providing grazing grounds, a fresh environment, a proper amount of water as dairy cows need a huge quantity of water, and management of all related factors give an insightful outcome. Installing cooling fans and exhausts in farms has added a new notoriety to this business. Robotic machines clean the farms, cut the greens, and keep the farms aligned and tidy. Even milk is processed with these machines. The milking process looks quite smooth through machines. The milking operation starts with a huge labor. Even if you use robotic systems for this purpose, still you need hundreds of men to set up the machines. On top of that, they need to know the fixing and running process. So here is another challenging moment. They are so perfect in their work. Fixing the machines, they linked pipe-shaped processors with udders and here the milking procedure begins. 
However, cows need to feel comfortable during the procedure. Nowadays, millions of litter milk has been processed through these robotic machines. This process looks like a military-style operation as the cows are repeatedly checked for feed and cleanliness before milking. They are regularly checked about half an hour before milking. Then in the parlor, there's a computerized system that monitors the milk variation of the individual cow. In this way, you can have microchip details and can identify the problem that even a single cow has. When the process is done, cows move forward rapidly understanding they are free. As they move, machines automatically work and water starts to come out of the floor underneath the cows and the place within a blink of an eye has unstained. Yes, it is done. Large-scale farming is such a massive process to be done in an instant time with this much immaculate. After the milking process is done, the time has come to utilize the milk and act on further strategies soon so the milk is not ruined by the high growth of bacteria. That is why it is necessary to do further processes which relate to the market. Often farms have contracted with different companies. Companies make good purchases for milk to process and convert the milk to yogurt or cheese, etc. Here, the process begins. Let's see how it starts. The cheese process is a physically intensive job but has fun though. It's an amazing thing to see hundreds of blocks of cheese sitting in cooling machines. In factories, milk is poured into huge sized containers where it is refined and all the germs are eliminated by adding culture and vat fillers. After pasteurizing, they add chymosin rennet into the milk and keep the milk for a while. It looks like a fun thing to enjoy. Milk seems like a pudding, smooth and pure. Oops, the process takes five hours to get the cheese. Most of the cores are done with the hands. After a while, they start mixing the milk and you feel like you are getting curd and whey. On this point, you have to use the huge spatulas constantly so the curd and whey do not get settled but remain separate. Though it's an intensive job for being physically its part, however, getting so much cheese makes you forget that hardship as you see it as tangible. On this notch, the cheddaring process begins. However, it's just a procedure of mounting, flipping, and mixing the loaves of cheese to shape proteins and let the batter embitter. It's, yeah, a big step that adds some cheesy traits to it. Now, cheese has turned into a really solid material and you need some extra muscles here to cut them off. The flagship cheese is super tasty cheese, and that taste is not just the result of knuckling your fingers, but because of adding so many different things, and yet it is not completely done. Still, it needs some more processes. Hooping the cheese is the final process. Staff put the cheese into the hoop, and it turned out to be in large-sized cheese blocks. Another integral part is also done on this point, and that is the aging process. To give it a long life, factories run some more procedures. This aging process is influenced by its texture, smell, moisture, and flavor. Before the end of the story, packing starts with robotic machines according to their sizes, and finally, the cheese is all set to be delivered to the markets and restaurants. Can you consider it how cow dairy farming has spread all around the world, and we just could not imagine how giantly this business has grown in a few years? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for similar videos. For more interesting videos, stay tuned.